We want to use these ideas to uh, actually solve some what are called power functions. So this is a power function, and usually most students can do this because they can kind of reason it out. Uh, but uh, And so I'm going to show two different ways to do it. One way to do it is that we, um, uh, we can uh, take the fourth root of both sides. So I can say, oh, let me take the fourth root of this whole thing. This whole thing equals 16th, take the fourth root. So the fourth root and this raised to the fourth, those are inverse operations, so they cancel each other out. So I'm left with root uh, 3x equals 2. And then they're like, oh, okay, the inverse operation of root 3 is to raise it to the third power. So that's those inverse operations cancel each other out and I end up with 8, which is, like I said, most people can kind of reason out what this is, or many of my students can, um, so it's 8. So let me show you the other way to do it that's a step quicker. So if I rewrite this as x to the, make sure I do it right, 4 over 3 equals 16, our goal here is to get x by itself. We want to get x to the 1. And so what do I need to multiply 4 thirds by? to get 1 there. Well, I need to multiply it uh, times 3 fourths. But multiplying it, what I'm really doing is I'm raising this thing to the 3 fourths power, because when I'm going to multiply across power to a power rule. So I just do the same thing to the other side to keep my equations balanced. 4 times 3 is 12, 3 times 4 is 12, 12 over 12 is 1, so I get x to the 1. And then uh, sometimes I'll need to put this in the calculator, but if I'm clever, maybe I can do it without the calculator. If I realize, oh, fourth root is 2, and 2 raised to the third power is 8, I can get the right answer that way. Or if I don't recognize it or just want to use my calculator, I can do you know, 16 raised to the 3 fourths in my calculator if I don't uh, see that, oh, I got a fourth root, and then I can raise it. Um, what's harder is if you try to raise it to thir the, the 16 to the third and then take the fourth root, that you probably would need a calculator for. But if you're, if you're clever about it and think, oh, I know what the fourth root of that is, and then I can raise it to third power, then you can get to the eight. Okay, we're almost in the home stretch here. Uh, okay, we're going to do a couple more problems. You may want to try these on your own first. Just stop the video, try it yourself. You can watch me do the first one and then try the second one on your own. Um, but this is almost like our previous problem, except uh, I don't have just like x to the two-thirds equals something. I've got some other stuff in there. So ultimately, our goal in these problems is a, our kind of our interme intermediary goal is to get, you know, something raised to the a, b power equals something. And once we get to this, we can do our trick of where we, okay, we're going to multiply both sides by b over a, and then this thing becomes probably a, an easier problem, like maybe there was a, a 2x plus 5 inside of here, and now it's equal to 9 or something like that, and that's very much kind of a, uh, a middle school kind of problem to solve. Um, so uh, that's our goal. Our intermediary goals get to that, and then we can do our new trick. Uh, so I'm going to do this one. So the only thing that's keeping me from having something to the two-thirds power equal something is this minus 1, so I'm going to add 1 to both sides. And so uh, that's going to be x plus 2 raised to the two-thirds equals 36, and now I can do my trick. And once again, if you wanted to, you could take the third root first, um, or you could, uh, I'm sorry, raise it to the third power first, um, or, and then square root it, because that's going to be our inverse operations, but I'm just going to do it all in one step. So that's raised to the 3 halves, and over here raised to the 3 halves. So 2 times 3 is 6, 3 times 2 is 6, 6 over 6 is 1, so it's x, just x plus 2 to the 1, and I can actually drop the prints now. And then this one, if I'm clever, I can say, oh, this is square root. Square root of 36 is 6. And then raise that to the third power. And that, I might need a calculator for that. Or I happen to remember that's 216. At least I hope it is. Otherwise, my answer is going to be wrong here. Uh, and then my last step is minus 2. Okay? And so that's 214. And I can check this now. I can do 214 plus 2, raise it to the 2 thirds, minus it 1, and it better give me 35 or I've made a mistake. And I often will check these because it's easy um, to maybe do something wrong along the way. All right, last one. This one right here. Um, 0.3 
I could rewrite that as 3 tenths and then flip it, but I'm going to show you another way to do this. So this is 3 tenths, so I could raise both sides to 10 thirds, um, but I'm just going to leave it like that. Uh, nothing to add or subtract, but I do have something I've got to divide. So I'm going to divide both sides by 5, and I'm going to get x over 4 minus 1 to the point 0.3 equals 6, and then I'm going to do the reciprocal. The reciprocal of 0 0.3 is 1 over 0.3, which is a weird way to write it, but it is it is a value. So I'm going to raise this side to the 1 over 0.3. And so I'm going to do x over 4 minus 1, because those reciprocals have to multiply to 1. And then I'm going to do this on my calculator out to the side here. So 6 raised to the 1 divided by 0.3 is uh, 300 and 92.498. So the rest of it I'm going to do in my calculator here. So basically this is 392 point, uh, uh, actually 50 if I round correctly. But I'm going to finish it in my calculator. I've only got two more steps. I need to add one to both sides. So that's going to be plus one. So that's x over four equals 393.50 roughly. And then I've got to, sorry you can't see that, uh, then I've got to be careful, multiply times 4, not divide. It's a very common thing to accidentally do. So I got x equals, and then so times 4, equals 1573.99. 1573.99. And since I've got this in my calculator, uh, there's a lot of information stored there. If I reverse engineer this, if I go back and plug it into my original problem to check it, uh, because I've not cleared this in my calculator, I haven't rounded it to 0.99, it will almost certainly come out to 30. It, sometimes uh, it'll be not uh, quite right because of the rounding errors in the calculator, but if you don't clear this out uh, for checking, you can really double check yourself. So I'm going to do that. I'm going to go back to my original problem, divide by 4, I'm going to minus 1. Uh, I'm going to raise it to the 0.3, and then I'm going to multiply it times five, uh, 5, and I get the 30 that I started with. Okay, that's great. Thanks for hanging with me. Ciao.